Uh, you still have members of your family in Gaza. Can you describe for us what it's like, uh, what is life right now in Gaza? What are they telling? Are, are you being able to contact with them? And uh, what are they saying about the daily life right now? Yeah, uh, I managed to contact them from time to time, uh, despite the lack of communication, uh, because Israel controls the internet, controls the frequency of Gaza. Uh, Gaza is a big prison. We cannot leave, we cannot enter. We used to have an airport in the year 2000, Israel destroyed it. We don't have a seaport, so people are trapped. My family, they live in the northern part of Gaza, in Gaza City. They had to leave the house uh, on a number of occasions to seek shelter at a different location. Um, they are being starved. Uh, members of my family, they lost at least 20, 25 kilograms of their weight because they cannot find the healthy, proper food. No vegetables, no fruit, no meat. Uh, no, no fish, no medicine. They only survive on food cans, and it's almost expired, and some uh, flour. Uh, they're telling me that they are awaiting the moment of their own death, because the bombs don't stop. The tank shelling doesn't stop. Um, Gaza is a very densely populated area, and if a bomb falls on any geographical site, it will definitely kill and injure and maim so many people. You've got 2.5 million people live in a 360 square kilometer. Can you imagine the population of Gaza is double the population of Kosovo, for example. So they are waiting for the moment to hear good news about a ceasefire or an end to this genocide. Uh, it's almost going to be a year now. Can you imagine a genocide lasts for a year? They are mentally exhausted physically exhausted, uh, there is no safety, they couldn't get a one night of proper sleep. They are distracted because of the flying of the Israeli reconnaissance drones zzz, all the time. And they are distressed, uh, their children uh, are distressed. Can you imagine, this is the second year, students, they didn't go to school or universities. Israel destroyed all of Gaza's six universities, schools, mosques, universities, churches bakeries, infrastructure, everything is being destroyed in Gaza for fun under the pretext of self-defense. We know that the world is complicit. There is international conspiracy of silence. There is double standard policy compared Palestine to Ukraine. Palestinians, they have been suffering long enough. And the, the suffering of Palestinians didn't start on the 8th of October. It started 76 years ago.